first of all, I want to talk about bookkeeping and the importance of getting your books in order. The way I would always advise you to keep your, your books is to have five folders and a box file. And you can have an entry where you put everything um, that you get in to do with your business receipts into your entry. This bit isn't in the notes, we'll come to the notes later, so you might want to make notes on this. So, the first folder is for your sales invoices, and you want to put them in numerical order, the most recent one on top. And this is just for you to keep a track of what you've been selling. If you're not having to send them invoices, do print out the information you get or keep a receipt book. But it's just to keep a track of the sales that you've made. The second folder you want is a folder for all of your unpaid bills. That's suppliers, people you've ordered things from that you haven't paid for yet. So, copy of all your unpaid bills. The third folder is for all of your bank statements. Now, some banks are really good and they'll give you a folder for free. Others, you might not get one for free, so do ask your local bank. And what you want to do is keep your business account separate from your personal account. So if you haven't already, open up a business account and make sure that, that you track the uh, income that you get from your business separately from your personal account because you've got to treat this thing as a business because it is a business. <coughs> you want a, another folder for all of your paid bills and you want to file them in A to Z order. So once you've paid someone, you want to put that in a folder of paid bills. And the reason we file things by A to Z order is so that if you ever had a problem and the supplier says, oh, you've not paid me, you can just find them really easily. You don't have to go back through everything in date order. It just saves a lot of time when things are filed in this way. And then your fifth folder, you need for all of your tax matters. So when you're doing your self-assessment or if you've got um, passwords from Inland Revenue, you want something where you keep all that kind of information so that if you ever have to refer to it, which might only be once a year you have to do your tax return, you've got that information there. And a box file for all other stuff, so any other business related activity you can put it in there. And at the end of the year, the end of the financial year, you can put your sales invoices, any bank statements, any paid bills, just into one file and pass that to the accountant. <coughs>